having spent some time in, in Washington, I've worked with the various groups. And one thing that I've noticed is whether an individual calls himself uh, libertarian, conservative, constitutionalist, or even progressive, that individuals can work together. And I suspect the people that are following what you're doing today might have a similar experience, and you may know what I'm talking about. The people come together, even though we might not have precise understanding or agreements on all the issues, as much as the coming together I had found was due to individuals who wanted to be honest, wanted to know the truth of things, and they were, they were driven more by finding truth than they were for promoting Republican Party or the Democratic Party. And therefore, I was able to talk to other people, but it was a narrow group because most people uh, don't quite accept that. Do, do you uh, have uh, that sense uh, uh, as well? Yeah, and it's just something that I have been thinking about recently and trying to describe this phenomena. You know, my political party you know, that's running in Australian elections next week, uh, the WikiLeaks party, um, we are now already uh, the fourth most popular party in Australia, um, only founded early this, early this year. And there's, we have a wide variety of people you would classically say are from the right and from the left. Uh, within the party and there are tensions about that and I have to try and resolve these tensions and explain what is the commonality and I think it's a, a very interesting phenomenon that um, there has developed I would say uh, an extreme center uh, in the establishment politics so in the the um, I would in my language the co-opted parts of the Republican Party the co-opted parts of the Democratic Party uh, who are involved in self-promotion, networking, political dynasties, um, and that's uh, doing favors for mates and so on. Uh, and they're just, they're just working the system. They don't have any ideas, really, that they believe in. Uh, and then that extreme center, uh, which is really pushing forward aggressively in a particular direction uh, to promote itself, uh, has um, led to others uh, feeling like that is not what they want to be involved in. And so there is now um, a magnetic force between what you would traditionally describe as segments of the right and segments of the left. And uh, from the, if we look at what uh, is traditionally best about the left, uh, we, we would say it's their, their will for justice or their desire for justice, the, the decency uh, of trying to uh, look after people who unjust acts are committed to. And we can see that uh, from a power perspective as well. Uh, they would say that injustice comes about as a result of uh, inequalities in power. Uh, and if we look uh, at a right libertarian perspective, uh, we can say similarly uh, that uh, injustice or, or, or the, the lack of human virtue or growth uh, comes about as a result uh, of a lack of freedom and a lack of liberty. And that lack of freedom or lack of liberty uh, at its essence uh, is caused by uh, an inequality in power. Uh, your liberty can't be deprived from you unless someone else uh, has got more power. And so there is actually mm -hmm. a commonality between these uh, two points of view. And uh, I think one of the most important um, mechanisms which deprive people of liberty and deprive people of justice uh, is asymmetry uh, in information. So uh, an, an asymmetry in power, an mm -hmm. inequality in power, because uh, uh, one group knows what's going on uh, and another group uh, doesn't know what's going on or has been, uh, been fed lies. And that is something I think uh, that the right and the left, broadly speaking, the, the decent people who believe in something uh, can agree on. Uh, that neither of them are like to be t like to be told lies. Well, let me ask you a few things specific about the campaign. You're running on a party label. Is it called WikiLeaks Party? Is that correct? Yes, the WikiLeaks Party. Uh, we have uh, some two started a few months ago. We have some thousands of members. Uh, we're running in three of the five uh, states uh, that are in Australia. Okay, the, um, the, the thing, but, but it's, you don't have everybody in office. This is a brand new party, is that correct? 
That's correct. It's brand new, uh, registered this year. Uh, the polling is very interesting. Uh, so even the even the Australian government's own polling outfit uh, says that uh, I have between uh, 25 and 28 percent of the vote. That's across uh, four different polls, uh, including even a third polling outfit, Ray Morgan, um, of the voting intention. Uh, now that's not going to translate into the vote because the Australian voting system mm -hmm. is quite complex in in how uh, the the votes work. But that's a extremely interesting place to start from. Um, and of course, I'm proud of that. Uh, but I think it's, if we sort of pull back from my own personal interest, uh, that's an interesting phenomenon uh, that that has occurred. It's 40% of the voting intention for people under the age of 30. Uh, also, very interesting phenomenon. Why is that occurring? <laughs>